We have Matt Smith uh, in the studio with us today. Hi, Matt. Hi, Gabor. Thanks for having me. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled to, uh, to introduce this video, this demonstrational video that Matt's going to be uh, uh, showing you. It's about a waterfall. And uh, when, when Matt and I were talking before we, we, we shot this, um, this is such a, um, it's a beautiful scene, uh, but in the same time, it's complex. So Matt, maybe you can kind of tell us um, if somebody's going to be purchasing this video, what are they going to learn? And also maybe you can share your, a little bit of your struggles in the beginning and things you figured out with, with this kind of scene. Sure. Yeah. I wanted to uh, select something that was clearly beautiful, an obvious subject. But at the same time, I wanted uh, something that was complex to show uh, uh, folks how it, how important it is to uh, kind of filter through the obvious and get down to the sort of the bones of, uh, of the design. And uh, what I wanted to illustrate in this video is not, it's not a how-to video, it's, it's my approach to painting, which is to uh, break everything down into the four to six main masses that support the design, regardless of subject. And uh, with, with, uh, with a scene like this, there's an obvious uh, focal point, which is the waterfall. There are a lot of uh, secondary elements like rocks and trees and that kind of thing that needed to, to really be simplified and massed together in order to support the falls. And so I thought it was important to show you that approach. And uh, the, uh, the thing I found over the years is early on when I painted, I'd start with a uh, minute little detail and work out. And uh, I'd, I'd get to a, a secondary or tertiary part of the painting and it, yeah. it all fell apart, nothing harmonized. So what I found from painting outdoors over the years is if I start with those big shapes and get the relationships down of value and color and get that underlying harmony, then I can the degree of detail doesn't really matter. You can take it as far as you want or you can keep it quite simple. But that structure needs to be there and that's what I wanted to convey in this video. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I think uh, I think uh, it turned out pretty nice and uh, it's a point that uh, once I finally figured mm -hmm. that out it helped me not only in terms of making my paintings, but landing on subjects that would, that would make for a stronger design. And this video will help someone that's not only struggling, let's say specifically with waterfalls, but in general, it's just going to help them simplify things to show the process of at least how you, as you said, how you approach it. It's, it's a general video. That's why Matt said it's, yeah, it's a, it is a instructional video. It, it, it is, I mean, he's showing you step by step how, you know, the whole, you'll see this whole painting being built, but um, it's, it's a larger picture into Matt's um, approach. approach. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's what this whole video encompass, encompasses. It's a big word. That, that, that was my goal. And I yeah. think it, uh, I think it worked out. Yeah. So um, I, I'm very confident you guys will enjoy the video. Uh, you saw the image, image of it, and uh, we'll, we'll, I'm hoping that you guys will uh, add it to your art library.